1993, a film titled Jurassic Park featured a rather famous scene in which the remains of an ancient mosquito were preserved, encased in a ball of hardened amber. The film goes on to explain that the way scientists could resurrect dinosaurs from the past was by extracting blood from the remains inside this mosquito, in which dinosaur DNA could be fully sequenced by combining what was missing with that of a modern-day frog. This idea came about because back in the 90s, the writer Michael Crichton was struggling to come up with a concept to explain how dinosaurs could somehow be brought back to life in a feasible way in his book of the same title. What the Jurassic Park creators couldn't have imagined was the discovery of soft tissue inside of a dinosaur bone a finding that has since been replicated by other scientists, such as this stretching triceratops tissue, discovered by Mark Armitage. These discoveries shocked the entire paleontological community and would likely have rewritten the original Jurassic Park film had they known this was possible at the time. In fact, scientists have run into major challenges when attempting to publish these findings because of the wholesale rejection that dinosaur soft tissue could even still exist. The consensus at the time agreed that it was completely impossible because everyone held to the widespread belief that the bones were millions of years old, which would require that all of their biomaterial had long since fossilized. There was simply no way that these dinosaur bones contained biomaterial like blood vessels and proteins such as collagen 